What's up guys? Eli here. Um, back for an update. It's been a while. I think the last one I did was pushing two weeks ago. Um, still moving, as I stated before. And as you can see, I'm sitting on a fucking... You can see a mattress with those sheets. <laughs> you can see all kinds of shit going on in the background. Um, so anyway, yeah, I just figured, fucking why not, um, take a break from unpacking and stuff and go ahead and uh, just wanted to record a quick video. Um, I still don't have a lot of income right now to buy new stuff, but I have plenty of old stuff to show. However, I did buy some new stuff lately, even though I shouldn't have. Fuck, we all know how that goes. Um, pretty cool stuff, too. Things that I've been either waiting for or really surprised to find at my local store. So, that's kind of cool. Um, we'll just start off with... Uh, this is a band I got into like maybe earlier this year, or late last year, something like that. I bought their most recent uh, full length, which was quite a quite a, a super diversive and what would you call it? Very experimental and outreaching, far reaching, I don't know what you want to call it, um, type kind of black metal album, maybe Black Death. Uh, the band we're talking about is, I really don't know how to pronounce it, but Shamash, maybe Skamash, it doesn't matter. Um, you can figure it out. They're from Switzerland. Um, this is their... Look at that artwork, by the way. Interesting. Um, the title is The Maldor Chants Hermaphrodite. Um, and that might sound kind of weird to you, but it's actually pretty fucking cool. Um, they, they... As far as I know, this topic has never been done in metal, or this... this uh, uh, what they dug up to use for their lyrical uh, inspiration, which was a poem, I want to say a French poem from the 1600s, don't quote me on that, several hundred years ago in France. Um, uh, they said they wanted to use it because for the time especially, it was very dark and very, uh, quite an uncommon thing to do, a poem, a story, will you, about, about a hermaphrodite. Um, it's not... I've read some of it. It's not based on, uh, it's not about sexuality uh, per se, but it is about um, embracing who you are and transcending from there, um, uh, to, to put it quite simply. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, Smash, Shamash, Skamash, I, I don't like saying that name. Um, like I said, yeah, they're black metal from Switzerland. They have three full lengths. This is their most recent recording, an EP from uh, Sign of Prosthetic. Kind of an odd label for them to be on. But anyways, yeah, man. Uh, this is the, probably the most experimental stuff they've done. I mean, there's, there's, there's no straightforward metal to be found on here. It's very experimental. A lot of ambient stuff. I think it's awesome. I've only listened to it once or twice, but uh, it, it did. I found it engaging. I thought it could be memorable. And it kept my attention, which is fucking almost impossible to keep my attention for more than 10 seconds. So, quite good. Um... I feel like this band is really, really kind of pushing to, you know, uh, they're another band that's out there kind of pushing the limits of, of, you know, what you can do with metal. They're they're pushing themselves, they're they're challenging themselves, and they're they're a cool band to be out there. I mean, um, and there's a lot of experimental stuff. I don't like most of it, but you should look into them. Shamash from Switzerland. Uh, check this out and check their last album out. Also, I've showed it before. It's called Triangle. It is a, a three disc album, and it's. It's ambitious as fuck. It's it's very good. Um, I think it went under the radar for a lot of people. I don't know. You might like it. Enough blabbing about that one CD. Um, next, we have something that I, I didn't even know existed. It came out last year. I've never heard it, but I figured, why the fuck not? It's probably a you know, it's probably a label cash grab, but a lot of people are gonna buy it. So I mean, how can you blame them? That is Mayhem live in uh, Zeitz. I think it's Germany. Fuck, I don't know. It might not be Germany. It is it? somewhere in Europe. It's a live album um, recorded around the time of, fuck, I want to say 1990. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on anything I say. I've said that before. Um, no, it says right here. Yeah, shit, man. For once, I'm actually right. Live in Zeitz, East Germany in uh, 1990. You might be able to see that. You might not. Um, so anyway, have a listen to it. From what I've heard, it is quite similar to a Live in Leipzig. Um, I've heard it's not quite as good. I've heard the recording quality is not, not, not quite as good. I've heard it's still pretty decent. Uh, I, I have heard that it's worth buying. It's worth listening to. Um, I only paid ten bucks for it. Uh, Peaceville. I gotta say, is it me or I mean, I feel like this is the first digi pack I've seen from Peaceville. 
I mean, I don't know. I, I like the way they package their shit normally, but... I didn't know they were gonna jump on the fucking Digipack bandwagon also. Um, it's got a really detailed booklet, man. Lots of good photos, blah, 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 blah. Um, interviews with, like, you know, other Norwegian uh, black metal guys from the 90s. Uh, Isan. I don't I, I haven't read it all yet. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of interviews in here. You can see Louis Asshole right there. I don't know what he's doing. Um, anyways, uh, look forward to listening to it, definitely. I, I definitely, I found it randomly in one of my local shops, and I was pretty excited to have it. Um, as well as this next one I found it in the same shop uh, last week um, yeah super stoked to have this I'm a big immortal fan uh, at the heart of winter as you see this is not the current repressing that Osmos just did this is I think it's from 2010 yeah it's 2010 I've never seen this version so I'm it's, you know it's really cool to have nice it's glossy on the front uh, glossy but not overly glossy I like that I'll pull it out for you here that. You got, uh, it's got an anti-static sleeve. I don't know if it came that way or if the guy that I bought it used. So if the guy before me might have done it. Clear vinyl, as you can see. Fuck, I'll spend a couple seconds, I guess, and pull it out. It's clear. We all know what clear it fucking looks like. But yeah, man. It's pretty cool. Really happy to have it. I have it on CD, and I have had it on CD for fucking years. Um, I don't have any Immortal stuff on vinyl until now. This is the only... Only one I got, so yeah. Um, I've looked it up on Discogs. I feel like it's correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but at least when I looked up, uh, I felt like it's a fairly rare edition. Like I said, it's from 2010, uh, transparent vinyl. I don't know, I paid like 36 bucks for it. I felt like that was worth it. So, anyways, that's all I got, guys. Um, thank, uh, thank everyone for their you know their kind words and everything. Um, yeah, man, it's been cool, it's been cool doing this. Um, I saw plenty more of my collection stuff to show, so that'll, that'll be coming soon. Also, I knew there was another thing I wanted to do. Um, before I go, I, I just wanted to... I don't do shout-outs a lot, uh, you know, all that often. I don't even like the term shout-out. But, I, I mean, it, I guess it describes the action of what you're doing. But anyway, I just wanted to say hello and thank you to uh, Josh Armijo. Uh, channel is RunnerJMA. You all know who he is. If you're watching my channel, I mean, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you're going to know this guy. I just wanted to say a couple words about Josh. Um, I've been talking to him on, you know, on and off on Facebook and, and YouTube for, I don't know, four or five years, something like that. Um, it's, he was kind of one of my inspirations to start my channel, actually. Uh, he was the first metal reviewer. I'm always late to the party on shit. Um, I, I started watching his videos maybe four or five years ago. He was the, he was the first YouTube metal reviewer I had ever seen. And, um, yeah, man, I just, he does a, he does a fantastic fucking job. He puts a lot of time into what he does. A lot of time, a lot of effort, for very little, a little reward. But I should also add that he doesn't, he doesn't do it for, he doesn't do it for social status or, or compensation or anything. I mean, he, 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 he does so much for the bands that he likes. I, I don't even think a lot of bands that he endorses, um, realize, you know, what, what he does for them. I mean... He goes out of his way to do just a lot of good in the, the metal community, and uh, I hope that he I hope he never stops. Um, just a, uh, the world needs more people like him. So, yeah. Um, what's up, Josh? If you, <laughs> if you ever see this, man. Uh, yeah. Thanks for everything you've done for me. He's mentioned my name on his channel one time, and I uh, very much appreciate that. So, I'll quit blabbing. Um, I'm gonna go. Sunday, I got shit to do. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.